This is Lawn Mowing Simulator. We're on Xbox Series X taking a look at this mighty simulation of lawn mowing. This is the ultimate lawn mowing experience. There is nothing quite out there, I think, in the gaming space that gives you the experience and the thrills of mowing lawns quite like this one. So what we're getting here, uh, 4K resolution, probably like dynamic, I believe 60 FPS here. And uh, yeah, visually, it's not bad to look at. I'd actually say the use of the grass is actually quite interesting. I mean, it's not super sharp grass. You can definitely see like a bit of a haze to it. But one of the main issues I have with the visual aesthetics of the game is there's a lot of pop in. Like there's not much to it. I, w I will say having like the backdrop, you know, is kind of cool there. You know, you're not supposed to like look into it too in-depthly, but there's a lot of going on in the background, which is cool, and makes you feel like you're in an actual place. But I, I gotta say, you know, the, the poppin' is just atrocious. You know, I'd, I'd rather almost not have, like, vehicles or anything in the backdrop if it just meant that we didn't have to deal with, you know, the poppin'. It, it's just, it, it's kind of weird that it's something you have to deal with. It's like, really? You would think that this wouldn't be too bad of a, a thing to have in the game. So anyways, the game is very simple. You are going along mowing lawns, you're doing your job. Sorry, I gotta check here, it's six to seven centimeters. So I'm just gonna adjust that and then uh, get going on the cut. So yeah, you are literally just mowing lawns. That's, that's the game. It's a simulator. It's really authentic uh, like the vehicles and stuff like there's a lot of different vehicles you can have and there's different like stylings for grass that you can do and there's different like ways that you can damage your vehicle if you hit it you can kind of see the meters there on the bottom left how they kind of get impacted so if you damage your vehicle now you have to like fix it and repair it and there's different like parts and everything like that so it's actually like pretty in depth if you are serious about wanting to have the thrills of mowing lawns and you can also get certain like takes out of your profits if you're say uh, damaging someone's like flowers or damaging something in the environment you know that's like a pay cut and whatnot so it's actually like quite technically impressive and I, I gotta say you know we, we kind of look at this game as like oh maybe it's not too visually impressive I, I think it's actually pretty decent a for being a simulator and B, just like the technology of doing all of these different like individual strands of grass is actually kind of impressive. At the same time, the pop-in really takes me out of it. It just looks like really like there's not, you know, there's not much to the environment. I feel like this is something they should have been able to fix, at least for the next gen consoles where this is like, you know, an optimized release. It's a bit weird. You've also got this really cool sort of visual kind of style to it, so I can hold, you know, the right stick in, and I get like this highlight thing where it's like, this is all the grass you got to do, and you know, there's like a countdown, well, a counter or whatnot for your time. You have to put your vehicle away when you're done. You got to be careful not to damage your vehicle, and you know that aspect of it is actually kind of interesting. So if you find this to be a neat concept or something you like. You know, this is something you could sit here and you could probably play this for like hours and hours and hours. There's a campaign mode, there's a challenge mode, there's free play, so you can just kind of get in there and do the free play. I also want to mention another technical thing that kind of bothers me, is that the game doesn't have any sort of rumble or vibration. So, I actually don't mind mowing the lawn, I actually find it to be kind of a, a decent sort of thing to do, you know, you put on some headphones. You feel the rumble of the, of the motor and whatnot. And I, I just, I think it's a little weird that this one doesn't have, like, a vibration going on in it. Uh, you know, we can kind of go to the, the the settings here. So you can do, like, first-person dot. You can change your FOV if you want to adjust that for this one. So that's kind of cool, your units and everything like that. But there's not really any rumble. See, it says vibrations on. But, yeah, I, I don't feel any sort of rumble or movement or anything like that. It, it, I don't know if the game's just like kind of broken or something. I, I have no idea in that regard. But it's just like you don't feel any of the rumble or anything like that of like the engine. I think that kind of takes me out of it. 
And again, you know, this is like I have a standard Series X controller, and I'm just like, well, where, where's the feeling of actually mowing the lawn? It's just a bit odd. And it's like, seriously? You'll also notice aside from pop in that there are times where there's like some performance hiccups here or there, depending on where you're going, like some of the bigger spots. So keep that in mind. Now let's talk about the game itself a bit more. So I mentioned the campaign mode. This is kind of the meat of your lawn mowing experience. You are building a company, making your own character, eventually buying a bigger office, getting employees, whatnot. It's kind of like, you know, the lemonade type simulator or whatever, where you're building an empire and, you know, you're just kind of making it out of lawn mowing. And you get different vehicles and you get different jobs and you got different contracts that you have to do. It's, it's actually quite interesting. And, you know, I, I mentioned that there's actually like a lot of technical details to it. And I, I think if there are people out there that are actually serious about like mowing lawns and whatnot, like that's the thing they do, I think you'll find this one to be pleasantly full of the smaller details. And this is like a very niche game. I, I actually spent a good chunk of time kind of sitting here trying to find a, a contact so that I could review this game or whatever. And I never stopped to think, huh, this might be pretty boring. And yeah, no, this is actually like insanely boring. Like, you know, there's something peaceful about it in the sense that, hey, if you want to sit here and you want something where you're just kind of almost alone to your thoughts, I, I guess this is a game that would provide something like that. But if you want something that's like engaging and you know filled with any sort of action or any sort of like real intricate or exciting like features to it, this really isn't that. It's literally just going up and down, mowing lawns. Which again, you know, for some people, I think you might find this kind of interesting. For others, though, it's like yeah, this is a total snooze fest. Like it, it's cool that you got the campaign. It's cool that there's a challenge mode. It's neat that there's a free play, although it is a bit weird that the free play locks you out of playing certain levels until you progress in the campaign, and it's just kind of like, really guys, it's a lawn mowing game. Don't pressure people into sitting here and having to work through the story to unlock, you know, the different lawns to mow on. Who's really going to be like, oh, well, you're not good enough campaign-wise, and the story-wise, so you can't get to this new lawn or something to go in free play it's like seriously and i complain about this in other games where i'm like i don't believe in locking maps and whatnot behind progression in a story or in a campaign and if you're doing like there's like a free play thing like driving games or something like that tracks and that shouldn't be locked out and it's the same or particularly worse for a game that is based on mowing lawns there's no reason to lock out that stuff some people really just won't care at all. I mean, you're mowing lawns. It's a noble profession, for sure. I mean, someone's got to do this, and I've stepped up to do it for a bit here so that I could review this, but, like, seriously? Locking progression? Like, w w what are these, like, weird standards where it's like, oh, these guys aren't going to be able to handle those more intense lawns? Like, get out of here. So anyways, there's, like, more customization. That's just, that is good. You know, you can change up how your player looks, the, the logo of your company and everything like that. You can do all these different contracts and you can, you know, build up your empire and whatnot, which is kind of cool. You can do your different challenges with the challenge mode, or you can just have a good time sitting there mowing lawns in the quick play. Except if you want more intense lawns to cut, then you have to actually go and, you know, grind through the campaign, I guess, mowing lawns. So that's interesting. And, uh, yeah, it's Lawn Mowing Simulator. I really don't know what people, if you're at this point, kind of, like, are expecting what else I have to say. You literally go and you mow the lawns over and over again until you die. This is your life now. You mow lawns and you enjoy it. But, you know, it's, it's fine for what it is. Like, I mean, it sets out to be a game where you mow lawns, and it, it's, it's definitely a game where you mow lawns. You mow lawns in, like, cottages, you mow lawns at, like, castles, you mow uh, just a wide range of lawns at different, like, lawn lengths or, like, heights and everything like that, because you adjust it. Oh, wow, am I running low on fuel? you got to manage different parts of your your bikes, uh, you know, like your lawn mowing bike things, or lawnmowers, whatever they are. I, know, I think they have special names because they're bigger lawnmowers. 
But you know what I mean. You you literally are just out here living the life mowing lawns. The tech is kind of neat. Would I want a yearly lawn mowing game? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can handle that. Is there room for improvements if they were to do another lawn mowing game in the future? Oh, definitely. They could take this a lot further. Maybe they could do some crazier lawn mowing things. I don't know. I just think the concept is interesting. Again, it's something I actually had to sit here and put like a significant uh, like effort into finding like contacts and details of whatnot to actually be able to cover this game in an official capacity. And I, I put that time in because I'm passionate about this. You know, these lawns need to be mowed. And somebody's got to be here to mow them. And, you know, that's what I've set forth to go and do. And that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm mowing lawns. Am I building an empire? I hope so. But I mostly just wanted to go through this game and kind of, like, talk about what it is, what it provides, the elements of gameplay, give you a good idea of it. Like, it's neat. I wouldn't necessarily say it's, it's like, fun, but... It's something that, again, if you want like a peaceful time, I think this gives it to you. It gives you just kind of a, a tone-deaf sort of sound of the lawnmower. You just go around through patches multiple times. Like You can kind of layer things, too, if you're more technical and whatnot. Depends on what the client's asking for, right? And you just do this noble profession of, you know, mowing people's lawns. Like, it's, it's not an easy task, you know, out here in the sun enjoying these beautiful environments as you you mow these people's lawns but somebody's got to do it and that's you the lawn mowing simulator person that's your job and I, I just think it offers a decent amount of content a unique selection of modes do I wish they'd added some other weird things sure why not but I think this is a simulator that really does capture oh, motor overloaded the spirit of mowing the lawn in a neat way. I mean, like, honestly, the blades of grass and stuff, the fact that there's all these blades of grass and there's lots of stuff in the background, that is actually quite technically quite cool. It's a bit weird that I'm impressed by it, but I, I am genuinely impressed by what they were able to achieve from that perspective. You know, getting all these blades running on the Series X, and, you know, consoles in general. It's, it's quite a feat. I mean, this is probably a game I, I think a lot of people would check out more of a, a gimmick sense. You know, you're maybe not serious about it. Maybe you're just wanting to see the blondes getting mowed. You know, you do you, right? Like, that, that's cool. It hits the mark for that. Does it have some issues here or there? Definitely. Yeah, of course. Could someday they make an ultimate version of this game with, like, better visuals and no pop and whatnot? I expect so. I really do hope we get to see the super duper limited edition of Lawn Mowing Sim. I couldn't imagine having to sit here and review a Lawn Mowing Simulator game every single year. I think it would be hilarious if this became a yearly thing I had to do. But at the same time, I'm just kind of like, this is technically one of the sillier things I've done. And I imagine that some people might find this neat. I mean, that's what I said, right? Like, some folks, you might legitimately find this to be an interesting game. That's cool, if it's your thing, you know, good for you and whatnot. For me, I'm just kind of like, wow, this is, uh, it's slow. It's definitely slow, like, I'm, I'm literally sitting here mowing someone's lawn virtually. Like, there's gotta be better uses of my time, I, I gotta say, but, you know, at, at the same time, there is something really thrilling when you finish a gig and you see a, a nicely cut or well mowed lawn that you can attribute your skills to and being like, yeah, I mowed this. I made a difference today in the world. And, and that's what this game's all about. Because these lawn mowing guys, they're, they're the heroes out there. They're the ones riding these things, mowing the lawn, breaking hearts, having fun doing it, and just, you know, being the heroes that I don't even know if we need, but we really do absolutely desire because these lawns just wouldn't look the same without them. I mean, look at how great this lawn is. And the crazy thing is, you know, these gigs you have, you, you gotta come back every once in a while. Like, grass regrows, especially in different climates. Like, in Canada, you, you can't see the lawn half the year. But, like, places like this, it's like, yeah, you, you need 
You need your lawn looking good. These lawn contracts? You make money all year round. It's not just like a summer thing or a spring thing. It's it's like a legit business that you can run and you can build an empire. And and I hope that someday I too can build my empire in this. Mowing the lawns. Making things happen. Hopefully not going bankrupt as a company because that would be embarrassing. You you legit can have a lot of financial issues in this. I mean, you're mowing lawns. It's not necessarily like the most financially stable sort of industry, right? You get Johnny cutting the lawn guy and your, your company where you, you do lawn mowing is, is over in like a week, right? You know, you gotta have little customers. You gotta do a good job and you gotta, you gotta mow the lawns. That's what it's all about. And lawn mowing simulator on this intense console. It is a life-changing mowing experience.